Hello, my name is John, and today we're in the cockpit of the Mirage 2000 again. And in this video, we want to take a look at the Super 530D air to air radar guided missile. And in this uh, video, we will have a look on how to employ that missile after we found a target using the radar. So let's get started. First of all, if we look down here at the radar, it says uh, SIL on it, and uh, SIL is the standby mode. So we will move down to the radar control panel and uh, put the radar into emission mode, which will give, up, give us the radar scan zone. And we can already see at our maximum distance of uh, about 80 nautical miles, uh, we see a target indication, which is moving in at the speed of 1.1 Mach. And uh, that is our target. And we will simply slew TDC over that. And uh, let me get it over there. And we can see the target is an, uh, at an angle of minus 25 degrees to the left and at a distance of 71 nautical miles, approximately. And if we lock it once, we get uh, the solid, uh, sorry, we got, uh, we got a track file scan, and it shows that the target is moving at a 710 knots. It's at a 20,000 feet altitude, and it's moving at a heading of 130. So it's moving diagonally to us, as you can see on the speed vector as well. And if we look at the hut, we can see the target is currently 61 nautical miles away. So this gives us plenty of time uh, to get the, the Super 530 ready. And um, what we need to do is we need to turn on the master arm which will put uh, the PCA into uh, air to air fighting mode and we will select the 530 and you can see the 530 is S is selected and uh, we are not ready to fire it yet because it's outside of our range so and it's the target is off to our left of our nose as you can see so we will disconnect the autopilot and uh, I want to bring the the dash box up here into the circle on the hut and uh, so let's do a small left hand turn here keep our altitude if we can oh and we just lost the radar lock uh, that can probably happen because uh, we locked it at a quite a far range and uh, we will just lock the target again because it reappeared in our radar so single track lock uh, track will scan lock and now solid or single track target lock right now and now we have the solid box because the target is directly in front of us and you can see the 530 switch from just selected to P, which stands for uh, ready as well. And now we just need to wait until we get into engagement range, which is marked by this uh, horizontal line on the distance tape. And now we will just uh, head towards the target. And we unfortunately, as far as I'm aware, we cannot IFF it at this point because the uh, identification of friend or foe module is not uh, simulated at this stage, but it probably will be at the later point. Anyway, um, the 530D needs an active radar lock to be guided, so we have to keep our nose pointed towards the target at all times until the missile impacts. And as you can now see, uh, the range tape is slowly creeping towards the maximum range mark and uh, currently being at 30 nautical miles. We can also reduce the range on the hut a bit by left clicking the switch once. Now I can see the maximum range on the hut is 40 nautical miles and our target is directly ahead of us moving a bit to our uh, diagonal. Anyway, now the target is at 27 nautical miles well within our engagement, engagement range and uh, we can now hold down the weapon release button and the missile will take off and uh, just as you see on the bottom right there's a small note uh, currently there's a circle around the D and there is no tree left over here because the next missile that will be fired will be the right one and um, all the always the selected pylon or the pylon that will fire is always encircled Okay, now the target is at a distance of uh, 19 nautical miles and the missile is in the air and we just have to wait this out. And uh, there is no uh, flight time 
indication, unfortunately. So we just uh, have to wait a bit, and obviously the missile will take some time to reach its target over there. Target being currently at 13 nautical miles. Not sure if the missile will make it or not, it probably should, because the target is not... Oh no, as you see the missile just exploded down there. Anyway, this means we will have to re-engage. And we will do this right now. And we will wait a bit longer. And um, just looking at the head, I think the most effective range against the maneuvering target would be this line here. That is at uh, currently 7.5 nautical miles approximately. And that should be um, the highest uh, efficiency of hit. Uh, and I just tried to launch earlier. And uh, that didn't work out, unfortunately. And as you could see, we got the splash on the target. Target is trailing smoke now. And we can call that a good kill. Now we can release the radar lock and turn away before we get the counterattack on us. And yeah, this concludes the use of the 530D missile in this video. I hope that you could enjoy this video and learn something. And uh, I hope you're looking forward to the next videos I will be uploading in the next couple of days. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and fly safe.